Buddies Powers, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. It's Jared. And it's me. And this was exceptionally fun to come in on, eh? Oh yeah. Oh, we wouldn't had a good time. Walk it. No, we wouldn't want to walk this. We're a long way in the backcountry today. And this is a place I haven't been for years for the simple fact that I just haven't been able to get in there. So a massive shout out to Taupo Power Sports for giving me access to this guy. I'll link these guys in the description below because uh, if you're interested or in the market for anything like this or a quad bike or two wheeler or a jet ski or anything marine check those guys out because they've got a wicked selection and this is maybe my new favorite thing in the entire world well, we left at five we left, eh? at five we left at five this morning and it's now what nine half half eight, oh, half eight. so yeah we're we're pretty we're pretty deep we're pretty deep what she said. <laughs> and we're away so we've got a little bit of a walk now to get into the river and then let's get our stuff together We'll see you on the river. Okay, so we're gonna run two rigs today. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna set up a dry dropper on mine and then Jared's gonna put the nymph rig on his and then we're just gonna swap between the two rigs, rods, whatever, uh, as and when we need to. That way it just kind of saves us time changing rigs all the time if we need to. I'm running the Helios prototype five weight rod. We're gonna chuck the uh, Mirage LT size two reel on there in the burnt orange. It's my favorite reel. And then on here, we all know what's on here. It's the Amplitude Infinity Smooth Camo from Scientific Anglers. Oi! Touching tips. Touching tips. And then on there, we've got a floating, a seven foot floating poly leader down to a tippet ring. And then we'll build our leader off of that. All right, so that's my tippet ring there. That's where my poly leader ends. And then on here, I've got some 3X. I've got about five, maybe six, seven feet of 3X down to about two. Feet of 4x, I think I'll stick with that, that's fine. Chuck a dry and a dropper on there, and that's me good to go. Uh, this is a this is called a Chernobyl from Cat 3. It's like a, I don't know, it's a pretty good generic kind of terrestrial kind of fly. I'm gonna stop saying kind of, I say that all the time. You can see that on there, look. But yeah, so we're gonna run that, it's real floaty, it's real good. It's gonna be good for prospecting water and it might even get eaten. All right, so we're gonna double Davy that 4X to the Chernobyl, and that's a new fly, so I'm gonna crush the barb, as per usual. So off of that, we're probably gonna go about an arm's length of 4X, and then we'll put a little size 14 something on. I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna put on a little size 14 uh, claret thing. Now, I used to fish claret flies all the time, and for some reason, I just kind of stopped doing it. Black bead, claret body, real simple. Take ends in the hip pack, barbed already crushed. All right, so we've got a little claret jobby there, a little claret nymph, and then we've got about an arm's length of 4X to our Chernobyl, this guy here, look. Put some lube on that, and then this rig's ready to go. Just down in here will be a dry drop of fish. Go for it then. No, no, you go. Well, drop back, he's dropped. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, you boy. He's right at your rod tip. It's just moving up now. He's kind of on line. Your flies are on line for him now. He's coming over. Oh, no. Change fly. That's pretty good. You see this. Right about here, coming over. Come on, fish. Shouldn't be this difficult. Yes, nice. Let him go, let him go. All right, let's grab your nymphy rod and then nymph the, oh. Thought we've busted off, but what had happened, look. You can see it just broke at the hook point, which is real dumb. All right, here we go, my turn. Let's see if we can pull something out of here. Inside line first, I think. Uh, 
and just see what happens. That's not a very good drift. <laughs> Real. Get out into that second second lane over there. Get a bit of a better drift out there, I reckon. That's better. Just changing your position sometimes really makes a difference to your drift. Like a huge difference sometimes. Definitely a better drift and just move maybe like half a dozen paces upstream. And that's just changed the drift dramatically. That's going in a better place. That's better. Come on now. Oh, there we go. Right. Oh, spanked. <laughs> oh, I was not in control of that for a second. <laughs> Try and put a couple through the head here and then we'll keep on going. There we go. That's getting the drift going. That's where I want it, over the back there by the wall. the fish yo man I just thought that was kind of getting sucked under just lifted on instinct more than anything <sighs> oh, I had to work for this guy ah oh, yeah cool fish Stonefly. Yeah, you got them on the 101. Yeah. Strong. I'm not being gentle with him either. Hang on. Yeah, bro. On the board, sir. Huh? Yeah. Cheers, man. Cool fish. Sweet. So that fish ate both flies. Greedy, greedy boy. He was hooked with the stone fly on the roof of the mouth and the, what was the other fly? Uh, just hair and copper. Oh, hair and copper in the lower jaw. That's mad. I don't think I've ever had that before, but yeah, cool fish. We're off the board. I'm not gonna fish now until you catch a fish. <laughs> uh, but I had to work real hard for him. Oh, yeah, yeah, I put my rod away. <laughs> yeah, so that's cool. We're on the board, lovely rainbow trout. Good times. Hello. Just go downstream and we'll be uh, out your way. See ya. See ya. And again, go, go up that inside lane again there and then just. Choo -choo -choo -choo. The good thing about when you kind of get into it, you can cover quite a lot of water quite nicely with this kind of gear. Nice, right, right in there I'd expect something. Yes! That's a fish! Nice! <laughs> right where she should be. Nice man. Awesome bro. Watch watch those rocks. Ooh. This is strong, eh? Yeah. Yeah boy! First backcountry fish in a new river on a dry dropper. Yeah. That's awesome man. Well done. Right, see if we can make this 
make this happen. There we go, there we go, there we go, oh, nice! Boom, thanks buddy. Yeah, it was. That was a really good fish. Um, and she came from way over the back there, just really deep down on the drift. And uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. So going to re-rig that because I had to cut the line because he was all like scrambled up, tangled up. Might even be worth me putting a couple over there. Yeah, yeah, no, I'll just... You do that, I'll have a snack and then we'll uh, keep moving. Perfect. Maybe two or three feet further out. Yeah, nice. Don't mend, now you're good. You kind of gave yourself a problem then. Don't mend at all. Should have seen that. Go again. Oh yeah, take that one. Uh-oh. Uh oh What's that tree by your rod tip? A little pretty. Nice. Nice work, man. Nice work. Oh, pretty fish. Nice, man. And under. Oh, I can see a rainbow out there though, high up in the, in the fast stuff. Oh, yeah. Sim in the middle? Yeah. There he is down here, look, just ate something. Looking, you should see my flies, get ready. Nothing. It's a bit better, eh? Somewhere, anywhere there. Still down there. Hard to get your flights where you want them, to be honest. Yep. yep. That took some doing to get the flies in the right place. It was real quite tough. I'm gonna try and, we'll try and land them up here so we're not too close to that chute. Let's start trying to walk back so I can get him a bit closer to you. Nice, bro. Oh, nice work, man. Thanks. Oh, good stuff. Nice. Good fish. Yeah, that's a really nice fish, isn't it? Yeah.
like this. Coming over. Oh, what? Is that rejected? Where your flies landed, he was probably like another four feet over. Uh, like straight across to the other side. So what you could even do is you could actually move yourself as far forward as you can. You're not going to spook him and it'll give you a bit less to do. So if you look in that bottom left hand corner, you should be able to see the smudge. That's the fish. Oh, you'd be good for it. Now do a big mend up. Big mend up. Just fish that. He's chasing, he's chasing, he's chasing. He's chasing. Yes, 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 yes. Woo! Oh, yes, bro. Oh. <laughs> that was cool bro, I that was cool. Alright. You should do it. Come um, didn't do it. I should do it. <laughs> Didn't do it either. What is on there? Do you, do you know? Uh, you got a whole position on it or a progress? Whole position on it. Coming over. Oh, I'm changing that fly. Man. Fly changed to a little size 16 heron copper. Because he was definitely seeing those. Had to be seeing those. Perfect, coming over. Got him. Nice. Fly change, eh, for the win. Oh, cheers, mate. Now I need to get this uh, Manuka out from between my legs. And we need to try and land him down here without making too much noise, because we can potentially get another fish out of here. No, 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 no. We don't want to go down there. Yeah, if you go to where my rod tip is, I'll try and bring him to you in that quiet stuff. Whoa, 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 no, no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, what? This is so not where I want to be. Ow, ow. Jared's come with me because he's a good bugger. That's a proper fishing buddy right there. If you were Dean, you just would have sat down and had a picnic. <laughs> Isn't that right, Dean? <laughs> yep, nice, bro. Thank Good you, stuff. bro. Thanks for coming with me. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool fish. That's a cool fish. Ready? Awesome. 
Head down. See you, buddy. Whew, that was a cool fish. It was worth the scramble. It was literally hooked that fish and then he decided he was out of there and going down to this next pool. So it was probably the, the, the worst scrambliest. Scrambliest? It was just the worst little piece of river to negotiate and he decided that that's where he was going to go and we had to follow him. Uh, big ups to Jared for even coming with me because uh, <laughs> it, was, it was horrible. We're coming back up through here now and uh, it's just slippy and fast and you know big boulders lots of gorse nowhere to really stand and uh <laughs> anyway it was worth it it was a great fish yeah i'll go over there and just set up over there and then oh yeah i see him did he try and eat that no, he came over. oh here we go this is be good though get ready he's right on it be ready yep yeah, that's a great fish. Beautiful. Well done, man. I'm not going downstream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see you go. Here we go. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> yeah, brother. Nice work, man. Good fishing. Ah, oh, cool fish. Cool fish. Perfectly hooked. Just about in the game. Really don't want him. Feel, I don't know, this feels funny. Maybe it's a bottom jaw hook or something. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, this is ridiculous. Back down into the pool. That's so strong. I just couldn't do anything with it. And nothing. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's the one I fell over. Man, this fish is so strong. It still feels like that. This can't be. I'm knackered. <laughs> oh, it's just so strong. I think I see why I can't have had trouble turning him. Oh, oh, <laughs> mate! We now have to go up to this river uh. for the third time. <laughs> wow! Ooh, yeah. That's why. Ooh. Just in the side of the cheek. Yeah. That's why I couldn't turn her. Of course, she felt funny. Yeah, that's stunning. 
Right hand on that. Okay, so in my defense, in my defense, <laughs> the reason we're back down here is she was hooked just on the side of the mouth, so I couldn't turn her head that well. But excuses, excuses. <laughs> excuses, excuses. Yeah, uh, I tried my hardest, but yeah, she was coming back down here and then so did we. I fell in twice. Oh, twice? Yeah. On the way down here? In about now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the one's right here. The one's yeah. right here on that same rock you did. Oh, okay. Well, let's go back up here. Again. Again. Yeah. And she just took the little um, size 14 hair and copper. I think I actually was, I think I tied that fly. So, you know, that's been in my box for a while. Uh, you want to grab my rod then? <laughs> yeah, I'll get the rod. <laughs> <laughs> gone two o'clock now so we're kind of we're getting into the later part of the day because remember we've still got oh, probably a good 45 minute walk back to the buggy just over an hour to go out and a good hour 45 home so you know whatever the math is on that seven and a half hours to get home <laughs> it's been a great day good times guys we are out of here it's forced 10 to 4 we were supposed to be out of this river about an hour ago so we're well late uh just yeah just forgot how much water there was in here and um, we got a bit carried away so we're gonna go we've got a long walk back long drive back to the truck and an even longer drive back to town but it was a great day caught some lovely fish um saw some good water and had a good time doing it all right jared's just doing his last drift through the pool i hope you enjoyed this one guys give me a thumbs up drop me a comment in the comment section and all that good stuff have a great weekend and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.